Hey everyone, so we've got another one of the new Varnay models here, the model 2001. This one's actually kind of a throwback style, it's that classic round shape. We'll dive into it here in just a minute. If you're new to the channel though, follow along, like, subscribe, ring the bell, all that stuff so you can see the latest and the greatest and keep up to date on the newest sunglasses reviews along with a little bit of technical stuff along the way. Now. To the important part, let's dive in and take a nice close look at the Model 2001 and see what it is. So, for what we all actually care about, this is the new 2001 from Varnay. In my favorite colorway of this particular line is this blue stripe, and of course that's what I brought in to take a closer look at. So, as usual with the new models, we've got this nice enhanced temple core. You can just see it peeking through there in this particular colorway. A little bit of knurling there, which I really like. And of course, this new signature V is back and in place. I think we're going to see a lot more of that throughout the collection. They're kind of trying to find a uniform brand appearance. I think it's a very nice touch and a nice direction, but that's me. What you guys think is what really matters, but that's what you're here for, is to see what I think. So, again, we've got this Varnay logo on the temple tips. Looks like there is a lamination here, or I can't tell if that's just how the acetate falls apart. Honestly, that's a good thing if I can't tell the difference. That means it's not likely to be a failure point like we do see with laminations on occasion. Now, as we roll around this one, you see it's not perfectly an adjustment. I need to get it into a bench alignment, but that is another story. As we roll around here, very nice finish work on the temples, as we've been seeing. And, of course, on all of these, they have that new reinforced five-barrel hinge. I am a big fan of these new hinges they're using. They are very robust. They're going to hold up very well for the long term. They've got a really nice smooth action to them as far as how they actually open and close. And that's kind of the important part of the hinge, right? They want it to hold that temple on. They want it to open easily, close easily, and function. As far as the shape, we've got a nice little downturn here. Not enough to make it feminine, but I do think it's a very unisex frame. I don't really see a strong pull masculine or feminine either way, so that's going to work for pretty well anybody. We do have a more pronounced dip here, not really holding that really strong modern straight across the top look, but a nice classic throw and a timeless feel. I think they could have gone and made this a keyhole bridge for a little bit more universal appeal. That's a personal opinion. I still like the overall design choice here and the nice slim bridge. Now, you may have seen on me, even though this is a really slim bridge, it still fits a little bit wider nose. I normally have problems with that, and this frame doesn't make that a problem. So even though it is more slim here because of the nice and large pad area here, it still fits a little bit larger nose, and I think that's going to be really good, especially for people with flatter and wider bridges. So, a lot of universal fit there, which is always nice to see on a good sunglass. And coming back around, you can see the way the light trapes across right there across the top. That's this new beveling they're doing on the frames. I gotta admit, I am a huge fan of the way that looks. It is blocked off here a little bit more, which is nice. It adds a nice contrast from that soft top bevel to a little bit more edgy here. And of course, it is seamless where it comes into the temple. Again, a very nice feature. You'll see on frames way above the level of what a Varnay is, but still something really good to see on a sunglass at this price point and caliber. You're not going to see that on too many for the kind of price that they're asking on these. And again, back onto the other side, of course, that stamped in Varnay logo and this floating V. This one is actually centered in that temple core where it bolts in. Yeah, you can make that out just barely. And that's what I like to see when you come across and you do have some sort of accent adornment. It's nice to have it centrally in that thicker part of the temple core. That's going to help in overall longevity, but it's also going to help keep that seated really nicely for the long term. Of course, made in France, as all Varnay are. No surprises there, and no surprises as we continue back around the other side. And you can see here kind of the big difference in the color. And there it is. There's what I've been looking for. That little bitty divot in the light there. That is a sign that, that is a lamination, but it's a freaking really good one. So I don't think we're going to see a problem with these breaking off unless you're just trying to bend it in without any sort of heat at all. 
that can occasionally happen. Don't do that. Let the optician adjust these and get them exactly how they belong and where they belong. But come on, overall, can we just talk about how gorgeous this blue stripe acetate is? I hope we see this in a lot more frames from Varnay. We're also seeing a lot more of this gradient tint on their frames. It's a really nice fashion touch and it expands the usability of the frames, but also expands really the overall offering of the collection. So they haven't had too much that's really just that fashion trendy look. These gradient lenses really step it up and get it into that level. So I think we're gonna start seeing a little bit more universal appeal from them. We'll see what happens. We'll definitely keep going along with it, but overall, I absolutely love all three of their new pieces, the 2001, 2, and 3. Excellent updates for Varnay. I can't wait to see what they keep doing as time goes along. Now that we've gotten through that, let me know what you think. I always love hearing what you guys think, what you want to see next, any models I haven't reviewed that you want to see done, or any particular brand you want to see reviewed. I'll see if I can get my hands on it. Sometimes they're forthcoming with these things, sometimes they aren't. Because I'm picky. It happens. Oh well. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. Let me know. Give me some feedback down below what your thoughts are on this frame. If you're interested in these, I'll have a link down below where you can buy these, of course.